Hi guys, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make pivot tables. If you have questions, don't forget to leave a comment in the section below. You can also download the sample file in the description. Don't forget to like and to subscribe if you like the video. So let's get started. So we're going to get started with pivot tables. So what is a pivot table? A pivot table is an interactive way to quickly summarize your data. Uh, you can use a pivot table to analyze numerical data in detail. And then you can answer unanticipated questions about your data. So I'm going to show you how to get started with pivot tables. So I have this data set here from cell A1 to cell E21. And as you can see, I have a list of countries, products, country group, the date, and I have the sales amount. So for example, if I want to know how much did I sell on bikes, I would go to column B and filter on the product section and I would select bike and I would click OK. And if I select column E, the preview tells me that my sales were $16 million on bikes. And I can do the same thing if I want to find out how much did I sell on a certain country? For example, if I select Canada, I can see that I sold $8.6 million in this country. However, as you can see, I have to filter every single item individually. And I could filter a product, skateboards, and then I could filter how much did I sell on North America, and I would get this result. However, making this takes a lot of time and it's not very efficient. There is an easier way to do this and this way will help me to analyze my data quicker. So I'm going to leave everything as it was and I'm going to select from cell A1 down to cell E21 and I want to go up to the insert menu and I'm going to look for the option that says pivot table. And as I click it, I'm going to get this pop-up window over here. And the first thing that I need to do is to select a table or a range. As you can see in this case, since we already selected our range, it is displayed in here. And then we need to choose a place where we want the pivot table to be placed. So I'm going to leave it on this same worksheet. So I'm going to click here on existing worksheet and then it's going to ask me for a location. So I'm going to click here on cell G1 because I want my pivot table to be displayed on this cell. If you want your pivot table to be on a different sheet, you can click on new worksheet. Usually this is what I do, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it on existing worksheet so that you can see both the pivot table and the actual data set. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to get this box right here. And it says to build a report, choose fields from the pivot table field list. And as you can see, I now have the right pane available. And you can see that I have the same items that I have on my table. I have the country, I have the product, I have the country group, I have the date, and I have the sales. And down on the right pane, it says drag fields between areas below. So I have an area of filters, columns, rows, and values. So what we want to do is to drag each one of these items or the items that we're going to need, and we're going to put them in each of the quadrants. Not all of the quadrants need to be filled. So first I'm going to take the country group and I'm going to click it and I'm going to drag it to the rows quadrant and I'm going to drop it there. And as you can see, now column G is displaying all of my country groups that I have on my dataset. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the country. I'm going to click it and I'm going to drag it below the country group. And I'm going to release it here. So now, as you can see, the first row that we dropped was the country group, which is in bold right here. And then the second row is representing the countries. So as you can see, we have grouped all of the countries of Europe, North America, the Pacific and South America in a single row. 
So this will help us to analyze our data more easily. Now I'm going to look for the date. I'm going to click it and I'm going to drop it on columns. So now, as you can see, I have the months that I have on my data set, which are January and February. And I have a total in here. So what I want to do is to display my sales on this other section. So I'm going to look for the sales and I'm going to click it and I'm going to drop it here on values. And as I drop it, I can now see the sales depending on the rows that we defined earlier. Now, so that it is more easy to read, I'm going to click here on column H and I'm going to select up to column G and I'm going to go to the home menu and I'm just going to apply a number format by clicking the comma style and I'm going to reduce the decimals in here. Okay, so now it's more easy to read. So now we have our pivot table and now so that you see what the filter does, I'm going to click on the product and I'm going to drop it on filters. So now I can start playing with my data. So I'm going to filter here. I'm going to select just the skateboards and I'm going to click OK. And now I can see all of the sales of my skateboard. So in total, I sold $20 million in skateboard in both of the months. I sold 3.1 million in North America on February. I sold 5.3 million in South America. And I made a total of 9 million in January and $12 million in February. So as you can see, doing this is easier than selecting each column individually. I can get a summary instantly in here and I can easily change from skateboard to scooters okay or i can choose bikes all right or i can leave everything as it was okay so why is it called a pivot table it's called a pivot table because i can change these items from one side to the other it doesn't matter as long as this quadrant right here of the values always has a numeric value so i can play with the columns the filters and the rows the way i want so for example, here, I'm going to take the product. I'm going to drag it below the country. Okay. So now the products are below the country group and the country. Now I can also move the country group up to the filters and I can also move the country up here to the filters so that I have a summary of the products. I can identify on which month were the sales and the totals and I can also apply my filters up here so if I want to look for the Germany sales I'm gonna select Germany and now I can see that Germany sold 1.3 million on skateboards on January and 2.175 bikes on February for a total of 3.4 million dollars I can do the same thing up here I'm gonna select all again so I'm going to select here on country group, the sales of Europe. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm only displaying the sales of Europe. And I can select different countries in here. So I'm going to click on select multiple items so that I can select different countries. I'm going to select France and Germany. I'm going to click OK. So now I can only see the sales of those countries which are in Europe. OK. So I'm going to unfilter all of this. And now, as I told you, I can also move the dates to the rows. So as you can see here, I now have two columns. I have the date and the months. And this is because Excel recognized that I have months on my date. But I'm not going to use this, so I'm going to drag it and drop it up here. As you can see, I have an X in there, which means that I'm not going to use that field anymore. So I'm going to drop it here. And now I'm going to move the date. I'm going to drop it below the product. And there we go. So I have the sales of the products and then the months. And I can change the order of this. So I don't want the dates to be below the product. So I'm going to drop here the date. I'm going to drag it above the product and there we go. So now I have the month 
and then I have the products, okay? And I can also move the products if I want to display them in columns. So I'm gonna drag the product up here on columns and there we go. So now my products are in columns and my dates are on labels. So I can play with this around all I want. I can move the country here. I can remove the date up here. I'm gonna move the country group up here and I'm gonna change the product back here. So as you can see, you can make a lot of different combinations. You can play with this around just the way it, you want it. So there are multiple combinations and you can choose whatever fits your needs. So there's a whole lot to learn. So this was just an introduction to pivot tables. In different videos, I'm gonna show you different techniques on how you can play around with your pivot table, change their format, and analyze your data more dynamically. All right, guys, I hope that video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to leave a comment, to like, and to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and you'll be motivating me to upload more tutorials for you. Also, don't forget that you can download the sample file in the description below. So, thanks again and see you next time!